If you guys love playing daily fantasy sports, make sure to use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video today, back on New York Giants franchise week 17 in Cleveland versus the Browns at First Energy Stadium. Currently, the NFC East is an absolute just massive competition to see who's going to make the playoffs and emerge victorious. We are on the verge of missing the playoffs here in what is this year? Year three? Year four? I think it's year three. This is the third season for sure. Yeah. Don't really want to make the play or miss the playoffs. Need a win here badly to keep us alive and still have hope. Cowboys loss would be big. Redskins loss would be big. Let's see who they have. Oh man, that is unfortunate. The Cowboys have the Eagles. So what do we want here? Oh, no, we need an Eagles win. It's between the Redskins and Cowboys. We need the Eagles to beat the Cowboys to finish 8-8. Eight and eight. That's very possible. Who do the Redskins have? The Redskins are playing the Bengals. So we're not going to force, obviously, but I want to see what the Bengals overall is. Are they still starting the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton? Oh, the Bengals don't look all that good. And their quarterback is still Andy Dalton, 77 overall. That is tough. But we are going to play here today. Maybe do the scouting later. <laughs> this is a really, really important matchup. We really couldn't afford to lose last week to the Seahawks, and we did. We really, really need a win here today against the Browns. Giants, Browns. This is a huge game. As the snow is coming down in Cleveland, the fireworks are still going off. It's a nice day, you know, besides the snow. And we'll see if this Giants team is ready. Because <laughs> if we don't win today, it's absolutely no playoffs. Even if we do win today, it's maybe not the playoffs. Which would be just a huge damper on the series, in my opinion, if in Season 3 we miss the playoffs after winning the Super Bowl in Year 2. We will start out kicking. I do want to show you guys something. A huge reason I think that we dropped the last game is because of Alex Espinoza going down. He's out for the next four weeks. Saquon Barkley fractured his foot. He's out for the next seven weeks. He will almost certainly miss the entire playoffs if we were to make them. Injuries hurt. No pun intended. Due to the injury of Alex Espinoza, we are going to do as you guys recommended and bring in Julius Manning as a sub linebacker. He's got fantastic speed, but he's also like a good linebacker caliber player. He's a little bit small at 5'11", 224, but he has great tackling, great pursuit, 88 tackle, 89 hit power, 78 block shed, 89 pursuit. He's a good stylistic linebacker matchup in this system. We'll see how much use we can get out of him. He's a lot better than, you know, playing Benson, who's going to start this first play. Got Lorenzo Carter, of course. We need a win here so badly. I can't stress that enough. As Baker Mayfield is going to go at Benson for David Njoku play one and can't complete it. That's a nice play. Now, we got no pressure last week, and we also got pressured heavily. We'll see if any of that remains constant. There was a title update. Um, or a patch as David Njoku breaks the tackle and gets out of bounds for a gain of two. There was a patch between the last episode and this one. So we'll see if that changes gameplay at all. Sliders have not been adjusted. And that is over the middle and complete. Three times in a row, Baker Mayfield goes to Njoku, picks up two completions for three yards, and the Browns will punt. Need Evan Ingram to showcase the speed here. Can we sneak that ball in there? And it's intercepted by Derek Kindred. It got popped up in the air. Believe off the hands of Evan Ingram. And we are off to a hot start with a Derek Kindred interception. Unbelievable. Handoff goes to Johnson. He cuts to the outside. Spins left. And he's got some space. Did they find two in the running with the running back? I haven't seen that before. It's another run. To Duke Johnson. That's a wide open hole. Duke Johnson has a ton of yardage. Picks up 20. We tackle Duke Johnson this time, please. The last thing I want 
is more common. So like from last episode, where we got crushed because I had no time in the pocket, we fumbled a few times and got sacked 11 times. I got all the idiot eight-year-olds in the comment section, you're trash, have no idea how to spell your correctly. It's unbelievable. Last thing I want is more of that. That's going to be a check down. Julius Manning lays the boom on Jeff Swaim. Is he really? We got to face Jeff Swaim again. You guys remember like episode one or two of this franchise where Jeff Swaim was a beast? Oh no, he's back. This time on the Browns. Third and two. It's a run. Oh my goodness, he got it again. This time it's Nick Chubb. Oh my god, it's Jeff Swaim. Baker Mayfield has four completions for only 16 yards. I guess the snow coming down could be a factor, but they are going short and then going short again and then even shorter. It's user time, man. I, I need to win this game. Okay, that didn't work out well at all. David Njoku, touchdown. All right, great start. Really would love to be able to lean on Saquon Barkley here. Obviously, can't do that when he's not playing. and He's out for the season. So that's, you know, unfortunate, but we're going to keep trying. Go short again for Evan Ingram. He breaks a tackle. Let's go, Evan. There we go. Somebody get open here. I don't really like any of my options. We're going to try to run with Kyle, and uh, we lose a yard. Hell yeah. All right, that's going to spread out the defense maybe a little bit. Give us some favorable matchups. And DeMar Jacobs has it. Deep down the field, and it's intercepted by Demarius Randall. We had it open. How is that happening? Like, actually, there we go. It's user time. Not losing this game. If I can actually play well to stop them from scoring, it's what I'm going to do. That's mine. User pick. Easy reads. Hop on pop. Lorenzo Carter, pick six. Tie ball game. All right, it's not tied. They blocked the they blocked the extra point. Okay, I'm not gonna get mad today. Someone get Baker. Converge on him. I'm a jamming right stick. Right stick means go after the quarterback, and nobody's moving. I have Landon Collins holding contain or holding his zone instead of containing the quarterback. Benson is so slow. It's unbelievable. I need him off the field. I need to come out in a different package. All right, big nickel. We bring in Tyrus Charlton into the box, but I think that's honestly better than Benson just because of his speed. All right, Tyrus. Split the gap. Duke Johnson just has so much space. It kind of glitched me in the backfield. I didn't really care for that too much. To run. We're over with Landon Collins. Julius Manning comes up, wraps up, and stops Duke Johnson. Third down and 11. He's going short. Wrap up, Landon. There we go. They may have gotten into field goal range, though. It depends on the wind. It, it entirely depends on the wind. And they're going for it. I think they had the wind with them for 11 miles per hour. And this one probably is going to be super easy. Kick is up. It is good. Hard to tell where the wind was there, but that was over 50 yards. So, probably with him, I'd say. Let's go. Back on offense now. Try to get it to Wayne Gallman. It just might have to be a running game. I hope the offensive line can pull through. Just get out, Kyle. Dude, Emmanuel Agba is fast. Third down and six. There's a drag to Odell. Cut up field, please. That was pretty ugly, but we got it. Kyle Aletta off to a rough start this game. Only his fourth completion. He has two completions to the other team, which is not great. So I want to throw to Evan Ingram here. We're going to take a deep shot to him, and it's just not where it needs to be. It looks like Ingram even slowed up as the Browns defenders got faster. I don't really know what that was. Third and one. This is absolutely four down territory from where we are on the field. I am going to run the ball. Come on, Wayne. There we go. And Wayne Gallman fumbles. It's recovered by Kyle Aletta. Jesus, what is this game today? That's open, though. It's a decent ball from Laletta, but Howard Russell drops it. How tough is this field goal going to be to make? Aldrich Rosas is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and try it. And I didn't get full power either. Kick is up and short. 
We wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but jeez. Would have helped if I could get full power. That's got to be picked off! Come on, defense! They're going to get tipped row picks and we can't do anything? It's in the hands of two players. Julius Manning is going to be the difference maker. Third and three! He can't make the tackle, but he stops it in the backfield. And it looks like Cleveland will probably settle for another field goal try. And they had the win with them, so they'll most likely get it. Kick is up and good. 13 to 6 Cleveland as the giant offense has not been an offense. It's been so bad. Handoff goes to Gallman on second and long. It's actually a pretty effective second and long play. It brings up third and long though at third and 12. But uh, you know, it could have been worse I guess. Come on, get in there! It's complete to Howard Russell and he's still going! Block Odell! He's standing around. Act like you want to be here. Big play from Howard Russell. That was a really tight window. But good lord. Block. And it's picked off off a tip. Um, if there's any consolation, I did not mean to throw to Adele. I meant to go to Triangle, which was Sterling Shepard in the flat. He was wide open. Instead, it's another tip drill interception. And our third turnover of the half. It's going to go short. Landon Collins is there. He brings down David Njoku. We're going to call a timeout. But a lot of it is also just like the players not playing well. I don't know if it's because of the snow. And I've, I've, I've double tapped fucking X, dude. Snap the ball the first time. Come on. Oh, my God. Cleveland going to call their final timeout. And I'm sure settle for the field goal. It is now going to be a two-score game. As this will go right down the middle, making it 16 to 6 Cleveland Browns in what has been one of the worst halves of football this team has ever played. Two dumb tips and, and me pressing X and Kyle not snapping the ball, and then pre me pressing X again, doesn't snap the ball, and then twice, and then he snaps the ball and throws it immediately. And it's right to a defender. Come on, Kyle. Good lord. Get the ball in the air. We have him. We're going for it. We're kind of in a bad position either way. We need to convert this. Come on, Kyle. QB sneak. You went to the wrong hole. Why? It's design left. I'm holding left and he jumps right. What the fuck? Get Baker, please. He still broke the first tackle. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Come on, D-line. That's got to be a great tackle. Julius Manning can't wrap up, but Nat DeGear comes in and makes a stop on fourth and goal, or third and goal to force fourth and goal. They will again try a field goal. It'll make it 19-6. to six. So, two touchdowns. That's all it is. We just haven't found one of those offensively today, so. Second and inches. Rolling out. That's open. Please have it on the money. It is. To Evan Ingram. Inside the 10. We need a touchdown. No bones about it. Odell on the slant. Touchdown. You guys have seen that a hundred times. But we got it. First touchdown on the game for us offensively. We're going for two. Actually, we don't need to. We only have 19 points. Let's just get our points. Get the extra point. Make this a six-point game. All right. We're in it. That's a pick! User pick, easy reads, the giving tree, Lorenzo Carter, his second pick six of the game, knocks it out of the park, and now we are tied, let's take the lead, we're perfect, 20 to 19 Giants, oh usering, man, you can screw over the CPU, shut up, it's a pitch outside, Duke Johnson wide open, Good lord. Man covers. Let's bump David Njoku at the line. Don't want to be offsides here. Oh, they're going over the top! That's my bad. They, he lobbed it up immediately. He was on a streak. He lobbed it up immediately. And I just was not ready for that. So it's play action. And that's a sack! Morris Dubose, the corner, coming in on the blitz. That's a huge play. Our first sack of the game, mind you. Yep, kick is good. 
Cleveland going to take a 22-20 lead. That stat keeps coming up. I don't think the timing is right. One more playoff before the third quarter comes to an end. And that's going to be lobbed up and caught by Odell Beckham Jr. on the sideline. Unbelievable. I should have thrown it away, but it worked. That's a sack. Couldn't find R1 quick enough. Emmanuel Agba got in so quickly. Our offensive line is terrible. Our pass blocking needs to be turned up, and the CPU's pass blocking needs to be turned down. I don't know what happened with either the patch or the last title update, but we didn't get any pressure last episode with a top defensive line in the NFL. We have been pressured relentlessly. And, of course, pressure. Can't get the ball off. Great. We missed a field goal from this same exact spot earlier on. Wind is really against us. I'm going to try a really short kick. And hope it works out well. Here's Kendall Newfeld. There is the short kick. And it's bouncing. And it's a great one. Derwin James downs it at the 8. And we just got to play defense. Get the football back and score. Easier said than done, obviously. That's wide open. Come on, man. Is this a run? It is. And I, I went over too far. Derwin James is playing like 40 yards off the line of scrimmage. I should have been there. That's just a bad usering. Second and three. That's a user pick. Easy reads. Uh, jeez. Uh, good night, Moon. Landon Collins with the easy read, the user pick. Fifth pick on the season for him. And we read that all the way across the field. Three turnovers for the Browns. Three user picks. Get at me. Third down and three. I'm tempted to run the ball. Just because I haven't seen it in a while. We're going to do that. Gallman stopped short by Michael Kendricks. Again with the insider info. They changed it what they were doing. Hold up. I don't want to run an inside zone. You know what? Let's do it. Gallman. First down. We got space with Kyle Aletta. Go, Kyle. He's not fast enough. Emmanuel Agua is just way too fast. You know what it might be? They changed maximum player or maximum speed threshold. So I might have to default that back to 50. Rolling out with Laletta. He feels so slow. Oh my god, that's such an easy first down. I definitely don't like this front. I wish I could call a timeout. I hate this. I hate this so much. We're going to snap the ball. Just didn't have time. I, I hated that. Should have called a timeout. I didn't want to waste it in case we needed it right here, which we do. But we could have gotten the first down, maybe. Yeah, that was just so bad. It's a run. It is. Wrap up, Manning. He's just... He can't tackle for shit. 22-20. We're going to call another timeout. It's going to bring up third and eight. To screen. Please get over there. Thank God. We're going to call our third and final timeout. Probably would have preferred to hold on to that, but we get the two-minute warning timeout, so... Could work out well for us. We're going to let this one bounce. Are you kidding me? DuBose breaks tackles. I tried to run away. He just... The game dragged me back. It's, it's, you can't make this shit up. There's Odell. He holds on. We get the two-minute warning timeout. It's another sack. Nothing got open. Emmanuel Agba's fifth sack of the game. Trent Brown with fucking 89 pass block. Can't do a darn thing. God damn it. Fucking block. Hold your block. You have 89 pass block. And I don't know why I, could think, I thought I could run there. It, with the speed threshold the way it is. Uh... That was just not the move. I should have just lobbed it up and hoped for the best. Would have been a tip pick interception, but still, fourth and 18. 
Game on the line. Howard Russell burned, and guess what? It's a fucking overthrow. That's our season. That's the game. Wow, alright. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna say too much. That's just... That's probably our season. Not gonna worry about upgrades right now. Uh, I'm obviously frustrated. I think these last two losses have been fucking bullshit. And uh, here's what we're gonna do. Pass blocking. Up. How is 89 pass block gonna give up five sacks in a game? Or six sacks, or whatever it is. Pass blocking. Down. Tackling. Up. Pass coverage. Up. Defense reaction time. Up. No one's doing what they're supposed to do to their ratings. Like, it's so bad. Trent Brown. He has... 87 pass block. I thought it was 89. I guess I was with confidence at one point. Go ahead and check out Trent Brown's stats on the year. Allowed 20 sacks. A career high. It's more than a sack per game. Including like these last two weeks where he let up like 11. So we finished 9-7. and seven, Which I would guess is not good enough to make the playoffs. Yep, that's our season. Redskins won, and the Cowboys won. So, I'm not even sure. I think the Cowboys probably made it in. Cowboys, Redskins. So, did we beat the Cowboys this year twice? That would have determined whether we uh, got in over them or not, or it would have been a determining factor. So, we lost to them week one, and we, we, we wouldn't have won anyway. Even with a win, we wouldn't have made it. Great. Um... Off-season stream will be soon. I'll be tweeting it out. I'll post a video as well when I'm doing it. It'll be twitch.tv slash bangle. Links, as always, are in the description. I'll be tweeting it out. Twitter's in the description. I, I, I'm tired of seeing these comments. You have a Twitter? Yeah, I fucking... I shout it out all the time, dude. Just, like, listen to what I say. Take it easy, man. I, I'm frustrated. I'm sorry, but... This was a ridiculous episode. Yeah,